So before I start talking about the pair, the very first thing that I want to put out there is that no matter how much I love the silhouette, there will always be some colorways or color blockings that won't grow on me. Similarly, this color blocking is something that I won't keep in my personal collection. Hey guys, I'm the Bhaiyush Pani and today we'll be talking about Air Jordan 1 Heritage. For some reason, this was one of the most anticipated pairs of 2022. While the color palette is taken from the classic Chicago's, the color blocking is similar to Travis Fragment Highs. The pair retails for almost 15,500, which was earlier almost 14,000, all thanks to the price hikes and the uh, latest budget. Now let's talk about the shoes. Starting from the box, the Air Jordan 1 Heritage comes in the special red and white uh, shoe box. While the Jordan brand touches the regular Jordan box, which is um, black and red, for the similar to Fragment box, the official colorway of the pair is White University Red Black. Honestly, not really a fan of this color blocking. Seth Fowler actually described it in very apt way by saying, the white on this pair makes it look empty, and I kinda agree. Even when the Travis Fragment lows or highs drop, people prefer lows over highs because of the color blocking. Now talking about the materials used on the pair, most of the pair is made of this uh, thick white leather which is plasticky to the feel. The toe box has this very uh, soft red tumbled leather. Now talking about the tongue, the tongue is the typical nylon tongue which we see on most of the pair. The stitch tag on the tongue is uh, black in the color uh, while the Nike logo is in the red. Now coming to the side, the swoosh is made of the similar uh, red soft tumbled leather while the edges of the uh, swoosh are orange in the color. Now talking about the Jordan logo, it is the same embossed logo in black color. Now let's talk about the back. The back is made of same red timber leather, which is soft to the touch. Now talking about the sock liner, it is black in the color and is very soft like most of the other Jordans. The midsole on the pair is white, matching the upper of the shoe, while the outsole is red in the color, matching the other parts of the shoe. Now the pair also comes with two different laces, the white ones and the red ones along with the black ones that are pre-installed on the shoe. Now if we compare Jordan 1 Heritage with other Jordan 1s, there's another difference, that is the insole used on the pair. This insole is comparatively thicker, bigger in size and is more comfortable I feel. The technology that Nike has used on this insole is called Dream Cell. Now some on feet clips. That's it for the review and I'll be skipping the styling part because I won't be keeping these in my personal collection and also I think these are hard to style at least for me. But if you liked what you saw and would like to watch more of such content, maybe consider liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you around.